Everybody, this is Beetle5. We're gonna play Monster Prom. Here I got uh, Zazus104. I thought you forgot my name for a second. I got really concerned. No. Should I just call you Devin? I'll just call you Devin. Alright, so Devin and Nick, we're gonna play Monster Prom. It's a multiplayer dating sim. It's stupid funny, so uh, go ahead and hit play. We'll get this shit rolling. To pray off, please. Uh, we can do a full game. We got the time. Alright, uh. It's crying. Look at it. Cry, oh, cry, cry. Crying skull. Yeah, we were debating on that before. Ah, oh, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Click. Uh, back when we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but mostly stupid. But always willing to live life to the fullest. But we were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. So it was the best kind. Alright, so we can pick any one of these guys. Who do you. You can be player one. Who do you want? You want to be the shadow dude? Yeah. So, uh, you can choose your name yourself. Who are we? I'm gonna be spicy, spicy McDaniel, spicy McNugget, McNugget. Oh, no, spicy McNugget. Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nugget doesn't fit. All right. I'm gonna, uh, go, you wanna be a, I'm gonna go with that. You can be a day. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will be the Frankenstein girl. No, no, I won't. I'm, I'm gonna be the zombie dude. <laughs> Name. Mr. Green. Mr. Green. <laughs> no. Uh, Brian. <laughs> just, just so normal. I don't we have know. green. And Brian. I'm gonna be, uh, Splooshier. <laughs> S-P-L- Yeah, L- Splooshier. <laughs> Cause I'm a dash E-R? No, 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 okay. no, we'll leave it at that. You can't even do dashes, they look at oh. there. I will be a he. You can give it a- Okay. God, my sake. Spicy no getting a Splooshier. And we- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what made me think that would be a funny name. And we have the yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the Monster Prob. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, and we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Miranda Vanderblit, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Okay, damn. She burned down an orphanage when she was two. <laughs> <laughs> Underwater! <laughs> She's a mermaid! <laughs> Damien LeVay, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Cool. Dope. Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. That's sweet. Uh, Liam DeLioncourt, 4XX, 4000. A hipster. Wait, so if he's really old, right? The, the vampire yeah. kid, yeah. Why is he still in school? Is he, is he technically a pedophile? <laughs> if you want to be technical, sure, but I mean... Oh, I didn't... Okay, we didn't... Oh, hey, who cares? Who gives a shit about the pedophile, the pedophile vampire? <laughs> uh, Polly Geist, 22, question mark. Uh, party goes with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Oh, baby. And Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. What does that mean to be self-made? She gave, she gave birth to herself? I, I guess. <laughs> she, <laughs> was, she was made in a lab? One of the snakes on her head are actually Decided to just spawn into existence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was clear. It had to be one of them, but who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. Three weeks later, we're still, like, playing this guy. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> uh -huh. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid and very stupid, and we were ready to start. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, well, Teen Wolf. Uh, welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. <laughs> All minds are rotten, but they're rotten in so many different ways. Uh, worry no more, we're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. The best of kind. <laughs> Uh, Monster Prom, stupidest pop quiz ever, trademark. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into character stats. Alright, this way each of you will start by having stats be that better reflect your true selves. Let's start. Okay, cool. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, hello, check out this buff-ass Ryan over here. <laughs> I had a bowl of nails for breakfast this morning! <laughs> You build a 100-foot statue commemorating an event so that in 1,000 years, archaeologists can learn something about the people of our time. What does the statue represent? 
Uh, that glorious instant when your friend stopped you from texting embarrassing stuff to your ex while <laughs> hella drunk. <laughs> your least favorite political figure be devoured by rabbit oh. rhinocery, which are also covered in badass tattoos. Also explains the, the yeah. bum ass <laughs> guy over there. Uh, that mind blowing twist in your favorite TV show that clearly changed the life of everyone forever. Unlike all that boring stuff they show on the news. Okay, so you get the Sponsored answer to this question. By movement watches. <laughs> it all started when two broke college college kids wanted to make watches that they could afford. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is your this uh, is your choice here. I don't know. I, I want to do this one, man. Dude, I don't know about you, uh, but seeing Trump be devoured by rhinoceros with the bad tattoos would be quite a sight. <laughs> I uh, I gotta go with uh, the embarrassing stuff my ex while I'm drunk. Okay. I'm so fun. I'm bored. Uh, that's good. Okay. Be a, whoa, wait. Twatch plays Robert 22 days. Uh, Lancer Bob GLZ White. Uh, okay, that's not even like. I don't know, those aren't even words. Uh, be a visionary. What will the next big social media craze be? <laughs> Bullshit! It's Facebook! <laughs> but each time someone shares news that isn't supported by real facts, they're taxed. Whoa. Oh, Sorry. what the hell was that? Oh, okay. Sorry, my phone. Oh, okay. Like, uh, scared the crap out of me. I'm like, were you being abducted? <laughs> <laughs> Monsters are coming, man. Okay. Okay, so it's Facebook. But that isn't supported by real facts, and they're taxed. And the money goes to the people exposed to that bullshit. Uh, Greek uh, agoras, like literal Greek agoras, reinstated in our cities, places where philosophy and arts are discussed by the greater minds. That's social media I want to log into. Or Robert, from now on, a socially awkward guy named Robert will do everything he's commanded to do through the app by its users. Oh my god. That would end. <laughs> that would end in a couple of days because someone would be like, kill yourself. And, he'd just be like, and that explains why the guy's got a gun. Yeah, he's eating a burger <laughs> with a chicken. He's like, <laughs> You're eating my burger? <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna do it. Right after I eat this burger, I'm gonna fucking do it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. These are, I, these are quite mm, answers. Here. I don't know. Do I want the top one or this one? Yeah, like the middle one, I don't really think makes sense. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of boring. Well, that like, could just be because we're stupid and we don't know what Greek agoras are. <laughs> I don't know what a Greek agora is. I mean, this, this... You can't like, go wrong with Facebook, but when they get taxed for bullshit, that's... that's well, you see a lot of bullshit <laughs> of course you do. on Facebook. Yeah. But I think this one would be more fun, even though it would end pretty quickly. All right, I'll, I'll go with the Facebook one, then. Uh, wow, you're so wealthy. wealthy, and then you're hey, charming. I'm charming, so... Okay. <laughs> the world will end tomorrow. What will you do today? It's okay, we invented the apocalypse to take care of the overpopulation of commoners. Wow, great purge oh, reference. <laughs> I always party as if there were no tomorrow, so who cares? Uh, nobody ends the world but me. I'll end the world today. <laughs> I'll finish my novel. Whoever comes after the end should know my legacy. 100 push-ups. No, 200 push-ups. Uh, they always tell you the world is ending. I'll profit on other people's hysteria. Wow, that's genius. <laughs> I'm going with that one, man. <laughs> really? Uh, I'm going to go with I always party as if there's no tomorrow, so who cares? Uh, no, no, uh, I want one? that one, yeah. Sweet. Oh, you got the, uh, you got the Gorgon chick. And I got the ghost girl, sweet. Alright, oh. Spicy McNug! <laughs> Alright, so you can pick your location where you're going to go. I'm going to go cry in the bathroom by myself. Oh. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Cool. Oh, no, I, have two, I have two shadows. Oh, look at your cute little shadow friends combing your hair. You're like Cinderella. <laughs> With shadows. But, wait, what? Uh, but the hangman thing? Yeah, it, let's just play hangman. <laughs> well, I don't know what, but bus? No, fucking, I don't know what that could be. <laughs> All right. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. Oh wow! Get it, the it, apocalypse. Jo it, I think that I think it's a Joker reference actually. But uh, oh, by skipping classic, by skipping classic, hanging out in the bathrooms, fuck the earth. You give plus <laughs> zero shits. <laughs> you gain plus two boldness, dude. I like that. Oh, man. I have nine boldness on you. Oh, cool. Okay, after you're walking along, when suddenly a car skids to a halt just in front of you. Oh shit. It's the most, it's not the most logical location for a speeding car to barrel through, and yet here we are. Wait, so the car drove into the bathroom? I, I guess, no, no, I think the guy said he was walking along, so I, I think he exited the bathroom. Okay. And he's outside, maybe, I, I, I don't know. Vera and Damien hop out. The work isn't bad, it's just not at the level it needs to be if you want to win this all-star drag race against a real badass hunk of metal. Okay. <laughs> I just picture as being the serious girl. What's your plan to win, Damien? I just drive your car really, really fast. 
Of fucking course it is, Vera! That's literally how street racing works! <laughs> I'm cool. Uh, that <laughs> may have won that may have won you the crown in the past, but it doesn't work against Justin Darrington, Damien. He's driving the Thunderfuck thing. <laughs> I the thunder, the thunderfuck five thousand. <laughs> it's kind of th thunderfuck. It's almost a tongue twister kind of word. <laughs> oh God. And I'm driving Nancy, a pile of shit I lovingly cobbled together out of every car I've ever destroyed, either in a race or just literally destroyed via arson or whatever. <laughs> cool. And Nancy can take. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh god, and Nancy can take on anyone, anything, anytime. Space. The Thunderfuck 5000 is an electric car. So we use an EMP it's to a, knock it out. It's a Prius. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy runs on the juice of literal, actual dinosaur corpses. What could be more badass than that? Fighting dinosaurs in this day and age, baby. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe running on pure lightning? Nancy is a piece of shit, Damien. Deep down, you know that she does not have what it takes to win us this thing. Seems she's like the weird face, too. Oh, God, yeah. No, she's <laughs> the... She's the... I'm gonna guess she's maybe the Sundari kind of chick. Uh, seems like this drag race is pretty important to the two of them, and that, l and that they're not going to come to an agreement on their own. Looks like it's up to you to be the voice of reason. Right, uh, okay, attitude is everything, but Nancy will never embrace her inner f fierceness with all of Vera's criticism. Come on, Damien, let's give this car a makeover. Or, Vera, you're right, Nancy is amazing, but she can't quite make the grade. We need to crossbreed her with a faster car. Okay, so I think these choices depend on who hmm. you're gonna, like, favor to among these two people. So that's up to you. If you uh, I mean, if you want to woo Damien or Vera, <laughs> it's kind of your choice. So. I feel like I could trick... I feel like I could trick... Damien? Damien into like killing everyone for me, so I'm gonna go with him. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna hit. Oh, perfect, so smart. Okay. Oh, per perfect. We could get a brand new qualified race car, and Damien can still feel his sh like his shitty subpar car is useful. Nice. Nancy is a thing of beauty and grace, Vera, but as long as her in are genes that live on in whatever machine I drive to victory, the plan is a okay with by me. Wait, so is that? Was that good towards both of them? You know, I don't, I don't know. It said charming, so maybe, maybe the the answers don't always depend on who you're gonna woo, but some and it just depend on what stat you're gonna boost. Cause I have a feeling your stats come into play here of what what happens and what they want to be there yeah. for no reason. The three of you get to work setting up what could easily be considered one of the most impressive and high tech car crossbreeding programs in the country. Cool. You find a very shiny red electric limousine to serve as Nancy stud and start the breeding process along. She's gonna fuck the, the Nancy's gonna go fuck a red electric limousine, <laughs> which mostly consists of making the cars a reservation at an appropriately fancy and expensive restaurant and loading up their CD players with smooth jazz and making sweet love in the garage. <laughs> Sometime later, Nancy gives birth. Don't ask how. Not important to the ultimate race car. L look at what we made, huh, guys? I mean, mostly what Nancy and El Diablo made, but we helped get them there. That's, wow. That's, uh, that's <laughs> interesting. Yeah, honestly, this car is a masterpiece. I've been looking for my next business venture, and I think I may go into high-end race car breeding. Wow. People make thousands of off of breeding horses to race, and horses want to fuck, so how hard could it be? By that logic, I bet I could make millions breeding race cars. I totally could. I'd be your first customer. You totally could. Not oh, I too. Whoop, whoops. You stupid man. Well, 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 fucking... See, that's why I have higher... So never mind. Yeah, shut smart. the fuck up. I'm just as smart <laughs> as you. Um, uh, You already were. I'll send you your invoice later. Oh, well. Looks like Damien has the race in the bag. Vera has a new business venture. And the world has a new species of super race car. You came... Oh, Oxy. Oh, so you... Okay, so you got the love towards Vera. You gain plus two bonus and plus one money from a kickback from Vera, which comes with a genuine smile from her. Score! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, so the sploosher's time to roll. I'll go outdoors. You all oh, six sick moves, dude. <laughs> that day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Damn. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Damn, that's a lot of I mean, people. Then again, I can't count, so I don't know how many there were. I'm only <laughs> six smart. I can't go higher than six. <laughs> Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself. But who cares? It's a rad party. That's a good way to look at it. I gave plus two fun. Oh, well, I'm looking pretty fun right now. Nice. 
I'm glad. Yeah, Aww. you're not. You're not so fun. <laughs> you need to be more fun. Oh, you, right. you just disappear from it. You spot Vera and Polly discussing something. You gotta get in on this conversation. It's bound to be something nasty. Hey, 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 hey! Jesus <laughs> Christ! What? Are you going to that party tonight at, at Dale, the Mummy's Crypt? The Dog Star has aligned with Venus or something, so his parents are being a pure energy for the weekend. He's got the place entirely to himself. I might stop by. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I like this chick. I like what I'm making this chick to me. <laughs> okay, so listen, Scott's gonna be there too, and I totally want to spike his drink. <laughs> Now I'm interested. What are you thinking? Laxatives or Viagra? Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Gross! I was thinking something fun, like shrooms! That's the better option. I would definitely go. choose that over the other two. Shrooms won't even dissolve <laughs> in no. you won't even dissolve in his drink, you idiot. You there. Back me up on this. What do you think we should put in his drink? Oh my god. Yeah! Make it something fun, like like shrooms! <laughs> <laughs> Just like an ice cube. Just I floating. love this chick. Okay, uh, Moonroot induces werewolf transformations. He'll be a literal party animal. Uh, do you want to make him a laughing stock? Use that flower that makes a person fall in love with the first thing they see. We can make him fall in love with a chair or a house plant. Uh, no, we gotta do Moonroot. We definitely had to have a wild dog roam around here. I'm <gasps> cute. <laughs> and I totally have a monster Snapchat filter that makes people look like wolves too. Wait, but if he's turning into a wolf, why do you- He's already that? a wolf. I think this chick is just stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'll use it on him, and then we'll be like, he'll be like a, a, a double wolf. I guess we know who doesn't have six smarts. Uh, <laughs> I <laughs> am in fucking love. <laughs> oh! Werewolf. Does she think she's a wolf now too? Yep, she <laughs> totally does. Yeah, a monster Snapchat pick that cool totally justifies unleashing a v vicious beast onto an unsuspecting party. Ah, uh, woo! You gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. I'm still a lot more bold than you though. That's Look fine, that. I'm still- that. That's fine, I'm yeah. still a lot more fun than you. I don't- <laughs> I don't give a shit. Oh, let's trade places. Oh. Uh, everybody- Oh, everybody chooses a celebrity. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Um, okay. And- some celebrity, just a celebrity, a random celebrity. Yeah, I mean, I, do we have anybody famous? Uh, Stephen Amell, because he's a badass. He plays uh, the Green Arrow in the TV series. It, oh, okay. Um, I, I, okay, if we're gonna go with superheroes, I'll go with um, Christian Bale. Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's a stupid Batman. We'll go with Christian Bale, he's my favorite Batman. Okay, uh, player order is decided based on how likely it would be for the selected celebrity to lead a group during a zombie apocalypse. Start debating now. Oh, God, okay, so... Um, you know what? For the sake of this argument, let's let's use the fact that we got Green Arrow and Batman mm. instead of the actual actors. That could be fun. So okay. who, so a Batman and Green Arrow, who do you think would be a better person to lead a group during the zombie apocalypse? I think Green Arrow. Read it, really? Green yeah, Arrow? Okay. Justify that. So, I, I'm gonna, not going by comics or anything, but okay. in the TV show. Yeah, yeah, in Arrow. Um, he leads a group of, he normally has collabs with The Flash sometimes, with Supergirl. So uh, he works with Supergirl. He works with Supergirl and Flash, and then he works with. He has a team. Like okay, he has okay. A team, so he has so, leaning skills already. Yeah. You know what that already? Yeah, I, feel like, canary, I feel like I feel like that already canary. does make more sense. Batman is kind of more of a loner. Yeah. So okay, we'll go with Green Arrow then. So uh, you can click you first, and then click me. Oh, I, I, or is it, it does it by default, I guess. Okay, well, well, this is actually the next turn. Oh, I'm just staring up. <laughs> you walk in the lunchroom. Just... All right, oh, no. so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is actually uh, the next turn of the game. So uh, we're gonna. Oh, hold on, don't pick one yet. We're gonna cut off here for now and continue this game next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment of what else you should play in the future. Now I'll see you guys next time. Later.